Hi guys, my name's Laura and today I am here with children's author Lawrence Prestige to talk about his brand new book, Penguin Beach. How are you? Because it's been a couple of years since we last spoke. I'm good. I'd just like to point out we are two metres away. Yeah, we don't just hate each other, we're just no, socially no, yes. distancing. Uh, <laughs> we're taking it very yes, seriously, yes. as you can tell. With everything that's going on at the moment, how has that been for you? Because I would imagine that you've had more time to write but less time to get out and get inspired. So. <sighs> oh yeah, it's been tough, but it's been it's tough for everyone, I suppose. Um, the more you keep watching the news, the more depressing and the negative things can be so it's about just trying to keep going really it's um, unprecedented times for, for everyone and um, realizing that actually I'm doing okay so your your new book Penguin Beach um, it's for 7 to 12 year olds did you have to do much research on penguins for this book I found there was a Norwegian study that uh, one in ten penguins are gay, apparently. Uh, I don't know how they found that out. They played I want to break free, and if a penguin kind of went like that, it's like, oh, let's move him to the other nest. Uh, I'm obviously here to ask the very serious questions. I'm a serious journalist, Lawrence. Yes. Um, how do you find your inner penguin? <laughs> How do you find your inner penguin? Well, that's a good question. I suppose you have to find the warmth in the coldest parts of you. Very beautiful, very poetic. Um, and what advice would you give to somebody who's just starting out? Because obviously you've had quite a lot of success um, as a children's author. If there was somebody watching today who's just starting out on their journey, what advice would you give them? Write for you. Write what you enjoy. Don't think too much about it. I think the more you kind of think uh, about um, what you're going to write and overthink it, um, you're kind of setting yourself restrictions and make it hard for you. You just kind of, you know, kind of know your starting point and where you're going to end. But anything in the middle, just kind of go with it and just have fun and um, don't set yourself rules. And the best parts of whatever you're going to write come from that just kind of sense of improvisation, if you will, and just kind of being in the moment and getting to know your characters and the journey that they're going on. I suppose there's quite a big difference between writing for children and writing for adults. Mm -hmm. Which would you say is harder? I think in terms of writing a novel, um, for children, I think that's the hardest bit of writing you can do because you've got to keep their concentration for so long and the, the minute you kind of get a bit too descriptive or kind of talk a bit much about things, they, your kids will just shut the book and be, I can't go on that, that's boring. And, and who is it that inspired you to actually write children's books? I mean like, Roald Dahl for me is like the Buddha of children's book writing. Um, he, yeah, if it wasn't for Roald Dahl, I would have started to read books, let alone um, write books. But I think the biggest influence to me is going back to Robin Williams as well, just because of that sheer energy and I think the characters that he can create in his, in his mind. Like if, you, if you ever watch some of Ron Williams' stand-up as well, it's just, he's just do 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 just kind of flowing all over the place and turning into this character one second and into another character the other second. In terms of like writing a story, yeah, Roald Dahl was a great influence, but I think in terms of just creativeness and improvisation, it's probably Williams for me. Um, so very exciting times for you. You were recently featured in a big spread in the latest issue of the Primary Times, which is a huge deal. Um, how does it feel to know that there are children all over the country reading your books? That must be really special. I mean, it's it's a wonderful feeling. Like you kind of, I think you know. I think I just started writing to start with. For me, you know, cheap and therapy. So it's good to do some do some writing. Uh, but yeah, so uh, yeah, you know, to, for it to kind of go into this um, books for children that are kind of all over the country, and you know, it's um, yeah, it's amazing. And you know, when you get letters from children to say how much they're enjoying the book and they, you know they're really enjoying these characters and, and things like that, yeah, it's a really amazing feeling. And you know, you kind of have to pinch yourself sometimes because you're kind of thinking this has just come from my head, and some of these kids are really enjoying these books they're reading in class and things. So. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's been really, really good. And um, and your book Terror at the Sweet Shop that has been really, really successful. I know we touched on that last time we met a couple of years ago. Um, why do you think that that has been so particularly successful? Why do you think kids are really warm to that book? I think Terror at the Sweet Shop has done particularly well um, because there's lots of it that is true, and I think kids can relate to that more if they can kind of relate to the characters all the characters in Terrence which are based on real people but really exaggerated versions of themselves and um, the sweet shop itself was a real place I used to go to the sweet shop with my friends um, so yeah I think kids when they kind of get a sense of something that is real from an author they're writing and they can kind of put themselves in those characters in my point of view that's probably why Terrence Sweet Shop's done well 
Um, are you working on anything new at the moment? Can we get a little sneak preview of anything else coming? Yeah, um, I'm so, I can't say too much because I'm not sure where that'll end up going at the minute, but yeah, working on a couple of different children's books and an adult book as well. Um, so that's very, very different um, challenge for me, but I do like challenges. Um, so yeah, I'm working on a few things. I wish I could say more, but I'm not at liberty to say just yet. Well, stay cautiously optimistic, and I won't push because I don't want to jinx anything. Um, and finally, just tell us where we can find and when we can find Penguin Beach. Penguin Beach is available now on Amazon and uh, in bookstores to either get um, a hard copy of the book or you can order it from the bookshops as well if it's not there. But yeah, it's available now, so go out and buy Thank you so much for chatting with me today. Thank you. And thank you guys so much for watching. It's been lovely to have your company. Um, there you go, you've heard it here first. Go and grab your copy of Penguin Beach by Lawrence Prestige. feel to know that your books are being read all over the country by lots of children it must be really special uh, overwhelming uh, I, I, you know i suppose is the word just to know that you're you know you're you've written you wrote and uh, wrote and you've written <laughs> you've uh, you're doing a really good job as an author right now I'm making up words as i go this is what uh, you can expect of you by yes. the latest book <laughs> even, where the, even where the camera operator yes. is just laughing yeah. <laughs> teachers are watching this now going don't listen to him <laughs>